These satellite images show a car park slightly east of the Tiergarten Park in Berlin. This now housing estate rests on the site of the now destroyed Führerbunker, where Adolf Hitler committed suicide eight days before the end of World War II in Europe. Hitler had multiple residences throughout Europe, but as the Allies drew closer to Berlin, the Führerbunker became the only place he could safely reside while he tried to figure out how to handle the situation. Initially, the bunker's construction began as a temporary air raid shelter for Hitler in Berlin. As it happens, Hitler spent very little time in Berlin during World War II. As the bombing of Berlin became more intense, tents throughout the war, the bunker expanded in size and in 1944 it was completed and named the Führerbunker. The completed bunker looked a little something like this. To the right hand side of the complex we have the Vorbunker which was completed in 1936. Then to the left we have the Führerbunker part of the bunker which was completed in 1944 and sat nearly 9 feet lower than the Vorbunker. The Führerbunker was also significantly more reinforced than the Vorbunker with 4 meter thick concrete walls. In preparation for Hitler's permanent arrival in 1945, the bunker was furnished with high quality furniture and expensive oil paintings, taken directly from the Chancellery building. Due to his shrinking empire, Hitler was forced to move into the Führerbunker on the 16th of January 1945, where he spent the final three months of his life. He was also accommodated by Joseph Goebbels, the propaganda minister for the Nazi party who also spent the final three months of his life in the Führerbunker along with his wife and six children. With the German loss of World War II and the beginning of the Cold War, Berlin was split into a communist and capitalist side, with the Führerbunker sitting on the Soviet-occupied part of Berlin. This image shows the visible part of the bunker after its demolition in 1947 by the Soviets. This is a photograph from 2007 showing the normal housing estate which now rests on the site of the Führerbunker. And this is a photograph from 2011 of the sign stating the historical importance of this site. These photographs were taken in 1987 inside the Führerbunker shortly before it was filled in with concrete and sealed off. They were illegal and the person who took them risked serious consequences but thanks to their actions we can see what 40 years of decay did to the bunker. These images also show a reconstruction of what Hitler's study looked like inside the bunker. It was in this very room that the dictator committed suicide along with his wife Eva Braun whom he had married less than 40 hours ago. In 1988, the Soviets filled in the decaying Führerbunker with concrete and sealed it off for good. The location wasn't made public until 2006, when a plaque was placed on the housing estate stating the historical relevance of the ground below. It is believed some of the bunker's corridors are still intact, but none of them are accessible to the public.